Hello there guys and welcome to Mad Doc Minis. In this video I'm going to see if the Horus Heresy melee weapon set works with Primaris Space Marines to help us make more interesting assault intercessors. Now I don't have any assault intercessor bodies for the purposes of this video so my marines are going to have more static poses. Do bear that in mind that you'd be better off with probably more dynamic posing. But I just want to see if the larger Primaris physique will accommodate the Horus Heresy weapons. I start off with the double-handed chainsword, a personal favourite of mine. I began things by doing a bit of a dry run with the arms to see if it would work and things were looking quite promising. You do have to bring the arms a long way forward on the torso to accommodate that larger Primaris physique. This also helps to give the illusion of extra length in those arms as well to go with the overall larger proportions of the Primaris. And uh, you can see here I've had to bring it forward quite a way to accommodate that big torso look. But that's okay, that all gets covered up by the pauldrons later on. Space Marines are very forgiving when it comes to this kind of thing. So uh, once that's together, that's looking pretty decent actually. And whether the proportions of the arms bother you or not is going to be a very personal thing. I think they actually look absolutely fine. But uh, do let me know what you think in the comments, guys. I'm going to finish this miniature off by sticking on the uh, Primaris pauldrons. That's going to hide all those nasty gaps. I use a head from the um, Horus Heresy vehicle accessory sprue, like a Cyclopean visor head. I like that. It's quite menacing and I wanted a slightly different look for this little squad I'm doing. Backpack goes on to complete the miniature and I think that looks pretty good actually. So moving on we're going to look at the Power Lance next. The Power Lance is another of my personal favourites and is another double-handed weapon so can offer some challenges. In this case I built a sub-assembly with the arms and the weapon attached to each other. Bit of a risky strategy because you've got that larger torso to accommodate. In my case it did actually work. Not much finesse involved but it worked. We are left with some pretty sizable gaps on this one though as you can see. I will highlight those. You may want to even fill these in if you're left with gaps this size. As it is, I'm not going to bother because, in my view, the pauldrons are going to hide most of it and you're just not going to really look at the miniature from up underneath. It's just not a, a major problem for me, but you, you may feel differently. So do what you must, guys. But in essence, it does actually work, as you can see, and it's a nice pose. Putting all the other bits on, that comes together really, really nicely and is probably my favourite miniature in this squad. Moving on, let's look at the Thunderhammer another double-handed weapon and another set of challenges. I approached this one in another way. I put the thunder hammer and one arm on first and then brought the other arm into play. There's multiple ways you can do the double-handed weapons, but uh, I just decided to try a variety of techniques. This one worked quite well um, with minimal gaps actually, and I like the pose on that one, like a twisting pose. All the other bits went on no problem at all, and most of the gaps that were there are nicely hidden, so uh, no problems with that one. There isn't too much to say about the single-handed weapons, guys, only that I brought them forward on the torso, as I did with the double-handed weapons, to give that illusion of increased arm length. It should be noted as well, and you will see in the final footage, that I do use the van brace components from the Mark III kit to bulk out the forearms. You could leave those if you want to do it. It does take away somewhat from the arm length illusion. If you've enjoyed the content, guys, please consider liking and sharing. It really does help the channel to grow. And and if you are not already subscribed, please consider giving us a sub. Take a look at these up close on a rotating platform in my homebrew chapter colours and do let me know what you think. Thanks for joining me and take care.